Welcome to another episode of Rants from Ronald Grump. It seems as though the sands of time of YouTube being any kind of platform where anyone can express anything controversial is running out. So today I'm going to do another experiment. I'm going to do a few experimental readings in the next couple of days, and I'm going to be interested to see which books you know, bring any kind of Van Hammer actions from YouTube. I suspect that I can read this pretty graphic passage from William Burroughs' Naked Lunch, and there won't be any consequences. But I suspect if I read something perfectly innocuous from Mein Kampf that I will get a strike on my account. So this will be an interesting experiment to undertake. So, I've got my copy of the portable beat reader here. And in here, you can see this book here. It's got a picture of William Burroughs and Jack Kerouac on the cover. Two guys who didn't take any shit from censors. And you know what? I don't take any shit from censors, too. Now, it's interesting now. That seems to be a right-wing position now. It was a left-wing position back in the day, but... Free speech transcends your wings. Anyway, this from Naked Lunch. I know this one pusher walks around humming a tune and everyone he passes takes it up. He is so gray and spectral and anonymous they don't see him and think it is their own mind humming the tune. So the customers come in on smiles, or I'm in the mood for love, or they say we were too young to go steady, or whatever the song is for that day. Sometime maybe you see 50 ratty-looking junkies squealing sick running along behind a boy with a harmonica, and there is the man on a cane seat throwing bread to the swans, a fat queen drag walking his Afghan hound through the East 50s. An old wino pissing against an L post. A radical Jewish student giving out leaflets in Washington Square. A tree surgeon, an exterminator, and advertising fruit in Netics where he calls the counterman by his first name. The world network of junkies tuned on a cord of rancid jism, tying up in furnished rooms, shivering in the junk-sick morning. Old peat men suck the black smoke in the chink laundry back room, and melancholy baby dies of an overdose of time or cold turkey withdrawal of breath. In Yemen, Paris, New Orleans, Mexico City, and Istanbul, Shivering under the air hammers and the steam shovels, shriek junky curses at one another, neither of us heard, and the man leaned out of a passing steamroller, and I copped in a bucket of tar. So that's William Burroughs, has some pretty explicit descriptions of the use of junk, heroin, but I suspect this will get a big giant pass other than maybe a copyright strike, but I'm kind of doubting that. That was a paragraph. It is well within the parameters of a fair use. Now, it will be interesting if I read something from Mein Kampf or Oswald Mosley or someone like that. I suspect that will bring the band hammer down with the quickness. So it really has nothing to do with a terms of service now. It is simply an editorial stance against people they don't like. This makes YouTube clearly a publisher. They are not a neutral platform like the phone company. And the, the government ought to be enforcing libel laws against YouTube as a publisher. They cannot get away with 
acting as a publisher, having pretty arbitrary editorial standards that really you don't even have to violate their terms of service explicitly and you get edited, while also having a safe harbor against legal liability for slander. This does not fly. It is illegal. It is against our Western values of free expression for literary and political topics. So that's really about all I have to say on this particular topic. As I said, I will also be reading from some, uh, you know, fascist material, and I will see if this brings the ban hammer down, and I will see whether YouTube thinks it can get away with being both a publisher with the privileges of a platform. So that's all. It's 1.30 in the morning here in beautiful northern Michigan, and I am signing off.